Welcome graphic designers. Today we're going to look at three different methods for creating round corners in Adobe Illustrator. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, but Mike, they've got that fancy little round corners widget that I can use. And you're completely correct. That works probably about 90% of the time. Back in the day, and I know I'm dating myself by saying that, we didn't have that. We had to make round corners a different way. So I'm gonna show you these three different methods today because if you've used Adobe Illustrator as much as I have, you know that every once in a while you run into that situation where that nice little dot down in the corner isn't there. And then you have to adjust and you gotta make corrections and you gotta go play with your handles and play with the anchors and switch the A, it's just a pain. So the three different methods are gonna make sure that you don't run into those kinds of problems ever again. We're gonna go from the most difficult method up to something that's a little bit easier. And then of course we'll end off with the round corners widget, which is Adobe's newest way of making round corners on pretty much any shape you can come up with. So I went ahead and opened up Adobe Illustrator and I drew out three rectangles on a, just a brand new artboard. This first method that I'm gonna show you is going to use the Pathfinder tool. So in order to do that, I need to think about how I want to round these off. And to be able to round them off, I'm going to use a circle or an ellipse. And I'm just going to draw out an ellipse here. And then I need to align these. Now it's the same color, so I'm just going to change it to something different. Go with a pink. I could go in and just manually align these and we can select both of them. And then if I click on my outer shape, what this dark edge means is that now I'm aligning to that key object. So by going right and top, it's gonna to take my circle and align it to those edges. And that leaves us with this little block in here, which is what we're gonna get rid of. So if I zoom in, just so we can see this a little bit better, and if I go into outline mode, which is command Y on your keyboard, you can see that we're lined up right to the very edges here which is what I want. So I'm gonna go Command Y again to get back out of outline mode. Highlight both of them by just dragging around. And then we're gonna go over here to our Pathfinder tool. Now if you don't see your Pathfinder tool down here in the sidebar, you can go up to Window, go down to Pathfinder, or as you see here, you can do Shift Command F9 and that will bring your Pathfinder up. So I click on that. And you'll learn all these various options as you go. The ones that I use the most are Unite and Divide, depending on the situation. So for this instance, I'm actually gonna use Divide. And what that's done now is it's broken this up into three separate shapes. And if we go, I'm gonna click off, we're gonna go Command Y again. Now I know you can't see it because everything still looks like it's all connected, but if you see the blue outline, when I hover over this, there's one shape. The circle is another shape. And if I click this little sort of triangle edge here, you can see that it's another shape as well. And just to show it even further, let's get back out of outline mode. I'm gonna click on the shape, right click, and go ungroup. And then you can see if I drag this off, there's our one, two, and our third shape. So let me just back up because we still don't have round corners. At this point though, I can delete this piece and then I can drag across both of these and hit my Unite. And we now have one shape with a round corner. And if I wanted that on all four of these, then I could just do the exact same process or exact same steps and I'd end up with round corners on all four. So let's go on to method number two. We're going to use this middle rectangle, and for this one, we're going to go in and we're going to use the Shape Builder. So same process to start with, I need some circles. Let's just drag out a circle. I'm going to eyedropper, which is I on your keyboard for a shortcut, grab my pink, and then we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab both of them, I'm going to use this as a key object by clicking on it again. Let's go left and top this time. So now I've got everything highlighted. I'm going to grab my Shape Builder tool, which is right over here. It's these two little ellipses with the arrow. And if you see, I can go Shift M on my keyboard. That's going to give me that. Now the key to this, you have to have both your shapes highlighted right from the start. 
And if you see when I hover over, I get kind of this grayed out section, like sort of a blue grid across, and it's broken up all three of these. Now let me show you something real quick. If this isn't completely perfectly aligned, so let's just move it down 10 pixels. And if I highlight those again, go to Shift M, now I've only got two shapes. So if I wanted to do a round corner with this method, this isn't going to work. They have to be perfectly aligned. Let's back up, Command Z, and we're back that you can see if I go to my Shape Builder, let's grab both, Shift M, now I have three shapes again. And in order to remove this little notch that I want gone, I'm going to hold down my Alt key and you'll see that it turns into a little minus sign by my pointer. There's a plus sign with Alt off, minus sign with plus on. So I'm going to hold it down and just click. And now I have two separate shapes. And I can actually come in and remove this. Now you see this is what we call non-destructive. So by doing it this method, if you remember before here, I could actually pull that little circle out. Well now I can use this circle and I could actually line up more of these if I wanted to. Highlight again, Shift M, minus, click that one. And if I hit V on my keyboard just to get back to my selection tool, I can drag that out. That's method number two. Now the third method, which I know most of you probably already know, but I wanted you to be able to have these other two methods in mind in case you run into a situation where you click on this and you don't see these little anchor tools here, these little circles. These are the round corner widget buttons. So with these, I can just, I can select one and drag in to get the round radius. Let's drag it back out. I could select two of them. I wanted something a little like that. Command Z, I could select all of them and end up with a pill shape. Now the other option that you can do is to click on the dot and if you double click on it, you'll get this dialog window that comes out for your transform. And from here, you can go in and you can change these one at a time. So you can actually undo this, which is gonna link all of your corner radiuses together. And I can go in and just select one of them and you'll see that this is actually starting to round off here. So if I wanted something a little different, I could come in and do something extreme, like say that, and then grab this one and do it maybe, let's say half. And we could end up with something like this. Okay, designers, that's it for Round Corners. I hope you gained some kind of knowledge out of this. If you did, please drop a comment below. Let me know that you liked it, maybe what you didn't like about it. Either way, it's going to help me out. Uh, make sure you also click that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. i got a lot more content like this coming out on the channel. We're going to delve pretty deep into Illustrator and look at all the various tools that it has available to us as designers. I hope you enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you back here on the channel for future videos. Now that time, I'd say we got it. So let's shut her down.